All right, what's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back in uh, the desert. But uh, you might be like, wait a minute, Pink Reaper. Something seems different about this desert that you're in compared to the desert you were in when you ended the last part. And you're right. That's because I'm not in uh, the, Su the Suhala Desert. I'm in the Lamankin Desert. The the first one we went through, because my dumbass forgot something while, while I was here. And the worst part is, it's something I always forget when I play this game. Uh, so I was... I was looking at my Jin list, and I was thinking about, like, where the remaining Jin are, um, and which Jin it is that I'm missing. So I'm missing, um, Bane, uh, for the Venus Jin. I'm missing Dew for the, um, Mercury Jin. Um, I don't remember what the stupid Fire One's name is, but I know where it is. And then I was like, okay, so I'm missing Luff, and I'm missing Smog um, for Jupiter's Jin. And I was like, I'm like, okay, let me think. I know where Luff is. Smog is on. And then it, like, it clicked for me. I'm like, holy shit, Smog is the one I keep missing every single time I play the game and always have to go back for. Smog is right here. Every single time. Every single time I play through this game, I forget to get smog. Um, it's, it's, honestly, it's very, it's very, it's very sad. Um, but the important thing is, uh, I actually had to come back here anyway, though. Uh, because I also forgot to go back to Calais. Um, after, uh, after completing Lumpa. Because now that I've done this, I can go to talk to Hammett. And there's a scene that's kind of important that I missed, so. Why? Why would you have to- why would you do that? Anyway, so yeah. So now we can go to the Underground Passage, which... I don't remember where the hell it is. I mean, I know one way to get there, obviously. I can go through the, uh... I can go through the outside entrance, but, uh, here we go. I'd rather take the fast way. So with that, we get some treasure. Useless, useful, whatever. Always nice for more money. And then we can push this statue forever. And there's something else to get. See guys, this was my plan all along. I was like, well, I'm gonna have to go back in this area anyway to go back to Calais, so I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll save Smog for then. Uh, for the record, Smog is an, uh, offensive Jin that inflicts delusion. In case anyone was wondering. I do not believe there is anything else to get in the, uh, the undergrounds here, but... I also don't know why it plays this music here. This is like bad dungeon music. Like, not like bad as in like 
bad music, but like it's the music they play when you're doing your like an actual dungeon. Um, and this is very clearly not an actual dungeon. Um, I'm just gonna drop some shit I don't want. I actually may just equip this to Ivan. Because uh, he's he actually uses offensive synergy. Um, just to show what that does. Uh, so his power should be in the 70s for all of his... Like, you see under the Jin, it shows, um, you know, level power resist. His power should be in the 70s for all of them. Um, but it's above because elemental gauntlets. I think it's just raises it by 10. Oh, wait. I wanted to leave the other way. That's also kind of weird to me is that that statue doesn't stay there. So now we can go up this way. Get an apple. And then we're in the Kalei Tunnel. And... Oh yeah, I have to leave this way. So yeah, that was, that, that's the entire purpose of this area, like, is the, the like, a way to leave Calais. I, I don't, I don't actually understand it, it's kind of weird to me, but, whatever. Oh, Sacred Feather. Anyway, now we're gonna head back to, uh, the Sahala Desert, the Shahala Desert. The Sahara. Uh, there were, there, there's not actually anything left to do there. We just have to, uh, like, leave, essentially. But now since I, um, since I did come back this way, I am going to have to refight a bunch of the, um, the, uh, storm lizards. Or the tornado lizards, whatever the hell they're called. Because every time you leave and re-enter that desert, they respawn. Um, which is why I mentioned earlier that they're pretty good for, uh... They're pretty good for, uh, experience grinding. Also, because I left Gondwan Passage, that's why he was waiting for me there. If, if you try and return to the, the previous continent, he's like, Do you have something to do? Yes. Alright, I'll wait here for you. No, it's a brutal troll. The worst kind. Oh, also, someone leveled up <laughs> while I wasn't recording. I think it was uh, Isaac. It was either Isaac or Garrett leveled up just while I was, like, walking back to the desert. In case that matters. I'm not going to be fighting every single one like I did the last time I was here. Um, I am, however, going to do the... I'm hoping my level ups don't cause this to die now. Okay, good. That should kill it. And get us a bit more experience and a bit more. Oh, it had to have been, it had to have been Ivan or Isaac then because Garrett just leveled up now and he wouldn't have leveled up twice before Isaac leveled up once. Um, I mean that's just going straight onto Isaac. Isaac always benefits the most from uh, extra attack stats. 
I forgot to... Oh, well, it's dead anyway. I forgot to do that. This is not the right lizard, but now I have to fight it. I don't actually get a choice. If I choose not to fight it, I just get dropped back in, uh... Uh... The town. And I don't want to go back. This enemy actually can insta-die to mortal danger. Like, it is a thing that can happen. Uh, the chance of it isn't super high, but it, it can happen. And I'm always sort of worried about that. Yeah, see, this is the... Just to show that off. This is the path that loops back around. Uh, oh, cool. I don't want to fight you guys. Can I leave? No? Alright, cool. What about now? Alright, cool. <laughs> I'm getting my experience in easier ways, so... This is actually, like, the most annoying part about backtracking from this point on in the game. Is if you want to go back to the previous continent. Like, say you want to go back to Tolby and use the Tolby Spring or something. Um... You have to, you have to, you don't have to fight these lizards actually, um, the, uh, on the way back. Like, if you're heading back towards Tolby from where we're headed, um, you don't have to fight them, because they, they always drop you back, uh, uh, at the same place. But, if you, if you're returning to the end of the game from Tolby, uh, you have to fight the lizards again, every single time. Yes, high impact, finally. Uh, so high impact is a full team uh, attack increase, or attack buff synergy. Um, and I'm very glad to get it. Alright, there shouldn't be any more that we have to fight. Oh wait, yes there is. There's one more that we have to fight. Actually, let's just do this. I want to make sure they both die. And actually, I don't think that'll do it. I think this one will survive Icehorn. Oh, no, it didn't. Alright, cool. <sighs> Alright, this is the last one we have to fight. I promise. Hey, PP recovery, nice. It is worth no- oh wait, no. Is high impact- hold on. Yeah, okay. That is the the full team buff. I thought I might have had that wrong. I really don't want those weasel claws, to be honest. They're worthless to me. No! Don't explode on my face! So you might be wondering about, what about that tornado? Uh, don't worry about that tornado for right now. Um, we could do, like, what that is right now, actually. It's not a huge deal. Um, it's just not... It, it'll put me back where I don't want to be if I do it, so... Uh, what am I doing? It forces me to leave the desert and restart it, basically, if I do it. So, uh, for right now, I don't want to do it. No! Oh, there's dynamite. Look how much damage that does. Eh, screw it. Just kill it and get the experience. That is a lot of damage.
So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do something real quick. That's not what I wanted on there. Flee! Flee! Check it out. It's the ocean. The ocean for real. Everything must die. It's really, really the ocean. Okay. So that's not important for right now, but... This is the Sahala Gate. Um, I actually think you can... Yeah, you can still get in fights here, I think. Hey, look. They're dead. I thought they died. I forgot. I, f I thought these were the ones that if you mind read them, it just nothing happens because they're actually just dead. But I was wrong. Alright, so there's one thing to get here. Uh, besides this battle with a mole. A mole mage. Go down. Here. Get the treasure chest. We got a mint. Uh... That I think I'm gonna use on Mia, actually. Yeah. I think that was my plan. I was sort of like considering all the remaining stat boosting items a few days back and who I was gonna use them on. Uh, and I may have already screwed up. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Welcome to that move. It leaves you at 1 HP. Like, there's just nothing to do about it. Uh, this one is... This one? Yep, that's the one. So this is due. The remaining, uh, the remaining Mercury Jin. Uh, Dew likes to run, so I'm just gonna hit it with all my strongest shit. Hope it doesn't. And it ran. God damn it. Alright, new plan. So that's the exit. Well, no, actually, that's not the exit. That's a uh, extra scene, which we actually are going to go see, but... Can you not? We're just going to go ahead and leave Mia. We don't need her. Alright, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna come back. I might just save in front of the Jin, just so I, like, can soft reset if need be. Easy fight. They're worth a bit of experience, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna save. 
Also, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. This Jin is dying whether it wants to or not. Apparently it didn't want to. This is this Jin is so annoying. Just because you have to always come back to where it is, too. Oh, and I didn't actually save after doing that, did I? I have just lowered my stats massively. I don't care. Please don't kill me. Alright, cool. So now it should die. I don't think it'll even survive two summons. This should kill it, yeah. Oh my god, you were so annoying, dude. And with that, we have the last Mercury Jin. Meaning, as of right now, Mia's our strongest character. These are Psy Energy Crystals. That one always respawns every time you enter and exit this room. Uh, yeah, you're wrong, because that's not Baby's ship. Spoilers, I guess. It's someone else's ship. I might want to grind out some levels, just so I don't have to show these friggin' random battles so frequently in the, the LP, honestly. You know what? If I remember correctly, one of these two enemies dropped something really good. I just cannot remember what it is. So a lot of the drop rates, especially here towards the end of the game, are in like the... Like 1 out of 64, 1 out of 128 range. Um, and the idea is they want you to be killing an enemy with Jin, because if you do that, it like... Uh, it, in it vastly increases the... Oh, no, these are the ones that die. That's right. Uh, it vastly increases the drop rate uh, if you kill an enemy with a uh, with a Jin. Not as much as you... That's move. I moved it back, I guess. Yeah, they all say the same thing. Um... Oh, no, I guess they do have Mind Read. Interesting. Well, if I never talk to you, you never die, so... So this is the, uh, the Bobby Lighthouse, not the actual Venus Lighthouse. Um... It relies heavily on Reveal. And this. 
the carry stone, I believe, is the last thing I need. Um... Go ahead and drop these. Anything else I don't really need. Um, you know what? Let's just give them the HP. We know we need it. Why do I still have that corn? need to get some items out of my inventory. Uh, give this to him. You know what? I can honestly just drop this. I don't care. I lose out on the money selling it, but it doesn't really matter. So, carry is the new big uh, Psy energy that we just got. This is like the only time where this happens, too. Where, like, you get a new Psy energy and you, the game's like, Hey, by the way, what if we had a Psy energy that we could do, use here? It's like, yeah, but we do. No, just let us leave. I don't feel the need to fight you guys. Bass, why must we fight? Oh my god, this is annoying. Alright, well I guess I'm just gonna kill him. I guess death is the plan. because I'm taking a lot of damage over here. Oh, someone's about to go... Oh, cool, it didn't happen. Uh, so yeah, it's not guaranteed to leave you at that low health. Uh, I have no idea what this one's weak to. But I know what this one's weak to. Wasn't that. Uh, I was hoping to get the drop from that one, but I didn't. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, we got Wishwell! Nice! So it's a much much larger heal to the whole party, which is very useful. Alright. I mean, it is a sign you can read, but it's also a door. I feel like this is a puzzle. I just don't remember what it is. I don't remember this puzzle at all. Like, at all, at all. I do remember you have to do that twice, though. Alright, let's get that drop. This time for sure. Sure. 
We did not. All right, never mind. Uh, what's up here? Just this guy. Just this guy is up here. Oh, nope. And then just that guy, too. <laughs> One guy, that's all we got. Actually, I think that was the correct one. No, it's not. And the lucky cap. It's action pretty good. Um, it only this one actually only boosts critical hits. Um, so unlike the uh, the other thing that increases critical hits, like. Uh, also actually increases unleash rates. This, I believe, only increases critical hits naturally. Uh. Anyway, believe it or not, I think we're actually done here. I think we can just leave. The carry stone was the only really important thing, and then setting that, um, that lighthouse path. Everything beyond that, not important. We can actually just go ahead and leave. Go away, you damn dirty ape. All right, so we've made it to Olivero. Um, there's, uh, there's a couple things to get here uh, that we'll get in the next part. And then we'll head towards the quote-unquote final dungeon of the game. There'll be actually one other thing we do uh, before we finish, finish off the game, I promise, guys. But we are almost towards the end of this one. Um, so yeah, probably only a couple more parts uh, until the end of uh, at least the first loss. Uh, gold lost golden sun uh, but we will be moving immediately into the lost age after that so don't even worry about it guys this LP is not not really that close to being over but for now at the very least this part is over so in the next part we'll uh, we'll head to the lighthouse uh, we'll, we'll advance the story a little bit uh, and we'll collect some more treasures so until then guys thanks for watching this has been pink Reaper signing out